put my headset on though, so I can hear my name. We're gonna start from that point. We're gonna kick some butt in this, y'all. All right, here we go. No, 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 we're not doing this tonight. No, 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 no. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. Let me change my weapons back. We got this. We're just going to take our time. Okay, let's see what we're going to do. Let's see what we're Come on, y'all. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Rally up, y'all. Whoever over here, we're going to get them and we're going to get gone. Come on, girls. Let's do this. This is all just really weird. Mm, I need to get here. But I also want to go. Darn it. Alright, I'm going to see what this is about.
back here. That is so creepy. Okay, so what the hell am I supposed to do? I don't understand. Is there something I'm missing? That's not open, so. There's something I'm missing, like in the guy. Okay, all right, that's a new area. Oh.
My people once tried to find this world. We hoped we could settle here. But we didn't know it would feel so unwelcome. Hey, Big J. Thanks for coming and showing support. I appreciate it.
I get it. I don't know how I get it. Come on, come on, come on. Make it easy for her. Make it easy. Saren already has a head start. We have to go find him before he reaches the conduit. Unless he's already found it. Then we're just walking into a trap. That is a chance we will have to take. Hold on. Something's happening. Too late. Unable to... Invading fleets. No escape. It sounds like some kind of message. But I don't recognize the language. It is probably in Prothean. This recording must be 50,000 years old. No wonder we cannot understand it. The message is all broken up, but I recognize some of the words. It's a warning against the Reaper invasion. Of course. Between the beacons and the cipher, an understanding of the Prothean language would have been transferred into your mind. Unsafe. You seek refuge. The archives. What's it saying? Can you make out anything useful? Fought Reapers. The Citadel. Overwhelmed. Only hope. Act of desperation. The conduit. All is lost. It said something about the conduit, but it's too degraded to help. We should go. Cannot be stopped. Cannot be stopped.
my life studying the Protheans, but I never dreamed I would discover anything like this. This bunker might have been the last refuge of their entire species. Just imagine what mysteries it might hold. Imagine what secrets it might reveal. Please, try to remember why we're here. Saren, the conduit, the fate of the entire known galaxy. I am sorry. I was swept up in the moment. I just hope we have the opportunity to study this place in detail after this is done. I thought Saren would have set some kind of... What are all those things on the wall? Some kind of containers? They look like stasis pods. The Protheans probably tried to keep them... It's a trap! Saren must have set an ambush! I do not think Saren is behind this. the Protheans for decades, but I have never felt this sense of foreboding. What will we find down there? Whatever we find, be cautious. If this were simply an automated trap, Saturn would have triggered it as well. You are not Prothean, but you are not machine either. This eventuality was one of many that was anticipated. This is why we sent our warning through the beacons. Looks like some kind of VI program. Pretty badly damaged. I do not sense the taint of indoctrination upon any of you. Unlike the other that passed recently, perhaps there is still hope. This is incredible. An actual Prothean VI, and I can understand it. I have been monitoring your communications since you arrived at this facility. I have translated my output into a format you will comprehend. My name is Vigil. You are safe here for the moment, but that is likely to change. Soon, nowhere will be safe. Are you some kind of artificial intelligence program? I am an advanced non-organic analysis system with personality imprints from Kesad Aishan, chief overseer of the Ilos Research Facility. Why did you bring me here? You must break a cycle that has continued for millions of years. But to stop it, you must understand, or you will make the same mistakes we did. The Citadel is the heart of your civilization and the seat of government, as it was with us and as it has been with every civilization that came before us. But the Citadel is a trap. The station is actually an enormous mass relay, one that links to dark space the empty void beyond the galaxy's horizon. When the Citadel Relay is activated, the Reapers will pour through, and all you know will be destroyed. How come nobody ever noticed the Citadel was an inactive mass relay? The Reapers are careful to keep the greatest secrets of the Citadel hidden. That is why they created a species of seemingly benign organic caretakers. The Keepers maintain the station's most basic functions. They enable any species that discovers the Citadel to use it without fully understanding the technology. 
Reliance on the Keepers ensures no other species will ever discover the Citadel's true nature. Not until the Relay is activated and the Reapers invade. I'm going to go other room with that. It's making a lot of noise, baby. How do the Reapers survive out in dark space? We have only theories. The researchers here came to believe the Reapers enter prolonged states of inactivity to conserve energy. This allows them to survive the thousands and thousands of years it takes for organic civilization to rebuild itself. But in this state, they are vulnerable. By retreating beyond the edges of the galaxy, they ensure no one will accidentally discover them. They keep their existence hidden until the Citadel Relay is activated. The Reapers can wipe out the Council and the entire Citadel fleet in a single surprise attack. That was our fate. Our leaders were dead before we even realized we were under attack. The Reapers seized control of the Citadel, and through it, the mass relays. Communication and transportation across our empire were crippled. Each star system was isolated, cut off from the others. Easy prey for the Reaper fleets. Over the next decades, the Reapers systematically obliterated our people. World by world, System by system, they methodically wiped us out. The war was lost. If you'd surrendered, they might have let you live. No offer of surrender was ever given. Our enemy had a single goal. The extinction of all advanced organic life. Through the Citadel, the Reapers had access to all our records, maps, census data. Information is power, and they knew everything about us. Their fleets advanced across every settled region of the galaxy. Some worlds were utterly destroyed. Others were conquered, their populations enslaved. These indoctrinated servants became sleeper agents under Reaper control. Taken in as refugees by other Protheans, they betrayed them to the machines. Within a few centuries, the Reapers had killed or enslaved every Prothean in the galaxy. They were relentless, brutal, and absolutely thorough. I don't understand. Where did the Reapers go after they conquered your people? Our worlds were stripped bare, harvested by the indoctrinated slaves. Everything of value, all resources, all technology was taken. Certain that all advanced organic life had been extinguished, the Reapers retreated back through the Citadel Relay into dark space, sealing it behind them. All evidence of the Reaper invasion had been wiped away. Only their indoctrinated slaves were left behind, abandoned. Mindless husks, no longer capable of independent thought, the indoctrinated soon starved or died of exposure. The genocide of the Protheans was complete. What do the Reapers get out of this? Why do they keep repeating this pattern of genocide over and over? The Reapers are alien, unknowable. Perhaps they need slaves or resources. More likely they are driven by motives and goals organic beings cannot hope to comprehend. In the end, what does it matter? Your survival depends on stopping them, not in understanding them. You said you brought me here for a reason. Tell me what I need to do. The conduit is the key. Before the Reapers attacked, we Protheans were on the cusp of unlocking the mysteries behind mass relay technology. Ilos was a top secret facility. Here, researchers worked to create a small scale version of a mass relay, one that linked directly to the Citadel, the hub of the relay network. The conduit is not a weapon, it is a backdoor onto the Citadel.
did you manage to stay hidden? All official records of our project were destroyed in the initial attack on the Citadel. While the Prothean Empire came crashing down, Ilos was spared. We severed all communication with the outside, and our facility went dark. The personnel retreated underground into these archives. To conserve resources, everyone was put into cryogenic stasis. I was programmed to monitor the facility and wake the staff when the danger had passed. But the genocide of an entire species is a long, slow process. Years passed, decades, centuries. The Reapers persisted, and my energy reserves were dwindling. We should have fought. We were a few hundred against a galactic invasion fleet. Our only hope was to remain undetected. I began to disable the life support of non-essential personnel. First support staff, then security. One by one, their pods were shut down to conserve energy. Eventually, only the stasis pods of the top scientists remained active. Even these were in danger of failing when the Reapers finally retreated back through the Citadel relay. There were hundreds of stasis pods out there. You just shut them down? You killed them? You were programmed to protect them, not kill them. This outcome was not completely unforeseen. My actions were a result of contingency programming entered on my creation. I bet they didn't tell the non-essential staff about this contingency. I saved key personnel. When the Reapers retreated, the top researchers were still alive. My actions are the only reason any hope remains. When the researchers woke, they realized the Prothean species was doomed. There were only a dozen individuals left, far too few to sustain a viable population. Yet they vowed to find some way to stop the Reapers from returning. A way to break the cycle forever. And they knew the Keepers were the key. I still don't understand what's going on here. Why is Saren trying to find the Conduit? The Conduit gives him access to the Citadel and the Keepers. My night is going good. I'm just Citadel. chilling. Um, Before each invasion, a signal my is stream was pretty slow earlier, so I restarted it. And I've been After having issues with my computer study, crashing with the, the game. So. Discovered a way to alter this signal. Using the I'm managing, though. Access to the I'm having a good night. And made the modifications. You playing a this game time, or something? When Sovereign sent the signal to the Citadel, the Keepers ignored it. The Reapers are trapped in dark space. Like it's been, this is the second day it then crashed on me, but like I said, I restarted it because I saved at a good save point. So I was able to restart right at the battle point, which actually paid off. You know, it was all right. I'm just chilling. Um, I was wondering, the podcast about night terrors and sleep paralysis and all that, that's 10 a.m., right? Not 10 p.m.? Because I wanted to be a part of that podcast. I already talked to Crazy about it. I had fun, too. Thanks for playing with me. I appreciate it. I'm going to try to get through this mission. Once I get through this mission, I'm just going to play music and clown around on stream. Because um, I was supposed to start at 10. I started at 10.45. And it was like a really slow stream. So I just went on. I was just playing a little bit and joking around with uh, Drika. And then the thing completely crashed on me. <laughs> it froze. I was like, okay, you know what? I'm just going to restart this whole thing. And I was just do the whole mission over. So that's what I'm doing. All right. It's at 10 p.m. shout out in a second but yeah uh so the uh podcast is at 10 p.m not 10 a.m i'm about to change it on my phone 
I told Crazy to try to remind me just in case. Because I thought it was 10 a.m. on Wednesday. If it's 10 a.m., I'm going to be at work on Wednesday. But if it's 10 p.m., I could actually take off, though. I could take off a day uh, if it is 10 a.m. Hey, I'm going to get a shout out. I'm going to give both of y'all a shout out before I go on with the mission. I always like to support as much as I can. Jay, I got you up. But yeah, I'll be there for the podcast. Just uh call me and remind me, man. I don't mind you calling. Text me, whatever. Calling is better because then I'm definitely gonna have to answer. Like text me and let me know it's you. <laughs> but uh normally I ignore calls I don't know, but I, I get the number before Wednesday and I know it's you. Cause sometimes I be sleep. I don't be knowing. Because Wednesday's not really a stream day. But all right, we're going to work through that. Here you go, Big J. I'm going to give you a shout out. That's a good one. I really need to get a Nintendo Switch. Y'all look like you are crazy to be having so much fun. I really need to get one. I'm going to try to get one for Christmas, though. I would say for tax time, but I'm putting all my money back into my shop and into my kids. But probably around Christmas, I'll get one. Yeah, I miss Nintendo. I haven't played a Nintendo game since Nintendo DS. And I, it was Pokemon. So, yeah, I'm going to get back into it. Too bad they don't have those games on PC. That would be amazing. Shoot, they definitely have me playing the game. All right, let's see what else he got to say. Saren must have some plan to undo everything you did. The one you call Saren will use the conduit to bypass the Citadel's defenses. Once inside, he will transfer control of the station to Sovereign. Sovereign will override the Citadel systems and manually open the relay. And the cycle of extinction will begin again. Man, it's getting depressing in this game, but it's a fun game. Can you Is help me? Is there any way we can stop them? There's a data file in my console. Take a copy when you go. When you reach the Citadel's master control unit, upload it to the station. It will corrupt the Citadel security protocols and give you temporary control of the station. It might give you a chance against Sovereign. Wait, where's the Citadel's master control unit? I've never heard of anything like that. Through the conduit, follow Saren. He will lead you to your destination. If the Reapers are trapped in dark space, how did Sovereign get here? It is logical to assume the Reapers would leave one of their own behind after each extinction. A sentinel to pave the way for their inevitable return. Like those in dark space, Sovereign probably spent most of the last 50,000 years in a state of hibernation. Periodically, it would wake to analyze the situation. Keeping its existence hidden, it would evaluate the state of galactic civilization. And when the time was right, it would signal the Citadel and usher in the next Reaper invasion. But this time the signal failed. The Keepers did not respond. Sovereign's allies were trapped in the void. Alone, it was forced to try and discover what had gone wrong. 
Sovereign's the largest ship in the galaxy. Why all this secret? Why not just attack the Citadel? Sovereign is not invincible. Revealing its true nature would have united the forces of every organic species against it. Even the Reaper couldn't survive such odds. But the Reapers are patient. They will not rush into the unknown. Sovereign could have been planning this for centuries, moving deliberately, gathering allies. Slowly, it has assembled the pieces of the puzzle, working through agents to keep itself hidden. Saren is the most visible pawn of the Reapers, but I doubt he was the first. Now Sovereign has grown bold. Whether from confidence or desperation, I cannot say. But it is determined to reopen the portal to dark space. So when the Reapers created the Citadel, they created the Keepers as well? A more likely scenario is that the Keepers were one of the early harvested civilizations. Perhaps the very first. Perhaps they responded well to indoctrination, or the Reapers simply bred them to be obedient. In any case, they were left behind to operate and maintain the Citadel. But the Keepers are no longer directly controlled by Sovereign or its ilk. They evolved so that they only respond to the signals emitted by the Citadel itself. When the Protheans altered the Citadel signals, they broke Sovereign's hold over the Keepers. Now, they are completely harmless. Sovereign must have realized organic races were difficult to control. A likely hypothesis. The Keepers evolved in an unanticipated direction. Non-organic servants like the Geth would be more predictable. What about the beacon on Eden Prime? And the one on Vermeer? What were they for? At our apex, the beacons spanned the breadth of our empire. We used them as a single galaxy-wide network to transmit data and communications rapidly from world to world. Virtually all the beacons were destroyed during the invasion. But once the Reapers were gone, the survivors here on Ilos decided to risk sending out a message. We knew it was unlikely there were other survivors. But if there were, we wanted them to know about Ilos. We wanted to give them hope. So a message was sent across the network. You could have exposed yourself to the Reapers. In truth, we didn't expect any of the beacons would still function. But we had to try. If there were survivors, we had to reach them. The message was meant for our own people. It was coded so only organic beings could interpret it. We still didn't understand the power of Reaper indoctrination. We never realized it could lead an agent of the machines, like Saren, to this world. But it has also led you here. So perhaps we did not fail after all. to the survivors from the conduit project they use the conduit to gain access to the citadel but the conduit is only a prototype the portal only links in one direction so they were trapped on the station i do not know what became of them then it is unlikely they found any food or water on the station i fear they suffered a slow grim death i only know they succeeded in their mission to seal the relay your presence here proves their sacrifice was not in vain. Saren's got enough of a head start. Grab that data file and let's go. Shepard, are you sure? Who knows how much longer Vigil will be here? Even now the projection is weak. This might be our only chance to speak with it, our only link to the knowledge of the Protheans. It is the opportunity of a lifetime. It might know something useful. I will provide whatever information I can. My data banks, however, are limited to information directly related to stopping the Reaper invasion. No, I didn't know. I just used the one crazy sent me. Hopefully you like it. I'm happy. 
Maybe you like it. I've got the files. Come on. The one you call Saren has not reached the conduit. Not yet. There is still hope if you hurry. technology and the proteins were taken in by the reapers just as we were they failed just like my people but they also gave us a chance to save ourselves we must hurry
sorry. I'm trying my best to not die. Because I can't save, see? I can't save right now, so if I die, that's it. Conduit. It's incredible. We don't have time to admire the view. We have to get through that relay, and these geth aren't gonna make it easy on us. the blade from Halo, y'all.
I'm running you over. I cannot lose this battle. Get out the way. Get out the way. Get out the way. Get out the way. Come on. Come on. Come on. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. No. Freak. I got to do all that over. Monkey's uncle. Y'all. Y'all want to cry? Yeah, I got to do all that over. Y'all, I got to do all that over. Oh. I'm so effing mad right now. I don't even know where I am in this. Like, where do I go? Oh. I'm way back here. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> How did I die? All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So I'm way back here. Like, it ain't even a joke. I didn't even do this shit. Like, really? I don't, I don't understand. Oh, man, I might be going in circles. This why I was super focused, cause I ain't want to do it over. Power. It must be running off its own generator. This must be the command center for the entire complex. Saren's troops must have sealed the doors from here after you went inside. We will have to figure out how to disengage the security lockdown if we ever want to get inside that bunker. Man, no, I gotta do all this again. Yes, I have to do the whole battle again. Dre, I appreciate it. Give a shout out. I appreciate all y'all support. I'm up here having to replay this. I like died like right when I was about to survive. Go save him. I, I gotta beat this mission, y'all. I gotta beat this mission. Oh, I gotta keep going.
on, come on, come on. Alright y'all, I'm, I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get it this time. I'm gonna save a bunch. I forgot to save because when I tried to save, it wouldn't let me save. Alright, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this, y'all. We're gonna do this. I gotta go save the Citadel. I gotta do it faster. Saren already has a head start. We have to go find him before he reaches the carnival. Unless he's already found it. Then we're just walking into a trap. That is a chance we will have to take. Hold on. Something's happening. Too late. Unable to... Invading fleets. No escape. It sounds like some kind of message. But I don't recognize the language. It is probably in Prothean. This recording must be 50,000 years old. No wonder we cannot understand it. The message is all broken up, but I recognize some of the words. It's a warning against the Reaper invasion. Of course. Between the beacons and the cipher, an understanding of the Prothean language would have been transferred into your mind. Not safe. Seek refuge inside the archives. What's it saying? Can you make out anything useful? Fought Reapers. The Citadel. Overwhelmed. Only hope. Act of desperation. The conduit. All is lost. Right there, that was bleak. All this loss. It said something about the conduit, but it's too degraded to help. We should go. Cannot be stopped. Cannot be stopped. All right, we did it. It can't be stopped. It's gonna be all right. We're gonna make it work. Alright, I'm back y'all. I'm back. Sorry about that. I had to go and refresh real danger stream. I'm trying to keep everybody stream active, you know what I'm saying? We gonna be alright. Alright, here we go. Gotta keep it moving. Gotta keep it moving. So now I gotta save again so I don't be stuck like I am now. But we gonna get it this time, y'all. It's leading me somewhere, so. I 
I just came from there, didn't I? It's leading me back here? I don't understand. Is there another doorway? Okay, the middle, the middle, the middle. I was wondering, like, I'm up here sweating my butt off in this Louisiana heat, but I'm trying to manage to get this thing proper. All right, here we go. Swept up in the moment. I just hope we have the opportunity to study this place in detail after this is done. What are all those things on the wall? Some kind of containers? They look like stasis pods. The Protheans probably tried to keep themselves alive through cryogenic freezing. Something must have gone. I get to say, hey Danger, how you doing? Y'all, I'm gonna give my boy Red Danger a shout out. I appreciate you coming in the stream. He's also one of the best mods ever, and he's a great streamer. Right now, he's playing Battle Battleground. Oh, he got that one. He's lucky. He lucky. He is so lucky. <laughs> so y'all check him out when y'all get a chance. Let's go. Right now he playing um Battleground on you. stream. Out. So give him a shout out, give him a follow. Saren is behind this. I guess we're gonna go talk to the computer again. Computer, stop listening. Y'all, sorry about that. That's the computer. It thought I was talking to it. I'm in a smart house, so. I, I forgot the keyword is computer. Well. 
You are not Prothean, but you are not machine either. This eventuality was one of many that was anticipated. This is why we sent our warning through the beacons. Looks like some kind of VI program. Pretty badly damaged. I do not sense the taint of indoctrination <coughs> on any of you. Unlike the other that passed recently, perhaps there is still hope. This is incredible. An actual Prothean VI, and I can understand it. I have been monitoring your communication since you arrived at this facility. I have translated my output into a format you will comprehend. My name is Vigil. You are safe here for the moment, but that is likely to change. Soon, nowhere will be safe. Are you some kind of artificial intelligence program? I am an advanced non-organic analysis system with personality imprints from Kesad Aishan, chief overseer of the Ilos research facility. Why did you bring me here? You must break a cycle that has continued for millions of years. But to stop it, you must understand, or you will make the same mistakes we did. The Citadel is the heart of your civilization and the seat of government, as it was with us and as it has been with every civilization that came before us. But the Citadel is a trap. The station is actually an enormous mass relay, one that links to dark space, the empty void beyond the galaxy's horizon. When the Citadel relay is activated, the Reapers will pour through, and all you know will be destroyed. How come nobody ever noticed the Citadel was an inactive mass relay? The Reapers are careful to keep the greatest secrets of the Citadel hidden. That is why they created a species of seemingly benign organic caretakers. The Keepers maintain the station's most basic functions. They enable any species that discovers the Citadel to use it without fully understanding the technology. Reliance on the Keepers ensures no other species will ever discover the Citadel's true nature. Not until the relay is activated and the Reapers invade. How do the Reapers survive out in dark space? We have only theories. The researchers here came to believe the Reapers enter prolonged states of inactivity to conserve energy. This allows them to survive the thousands and thousands of years it takes for organic civilization to rebuild itself. But in this state, they are vulnerable. By retreating beyond the edges of the galaxy, they ensure no one will accidentally discover them. They keep their existence hidden until the Citadel Relay is activated. The Reapers can wipe out the Council and the entire Citadel fleet in a single surprise attack! That was our fate. Our leaders were dead before we even realized we were under attack. The Reapers seized control of the Citadel, and through it, the mass relays. Communication and transportation across our empire were crippled. Each star system was isolated, cut off from the others. Easy prey for the Reaper fleets. Over the next decades, the Reapers systematically obliterated our people. World by world, system by system, they methodically wiped us out. The war was lost. If you'd surrendered, they might have let you live. No offer of surrender was ever given. Our enemy had a single goal. The extinction of all advanced organic life. Through the Citadel, the Reapers had access to all our records, maps, census data. Information is power, and they knew everything about us. Their fleets advanced across every settled region of the galaxy. Some worlds were utterly destroyed. Others were conquered, their populations enslaved. These indoctrinated servants became sleeper agents under Reaper control. Taken in as refugees by other Protheans, they betrayed them to the machines. Within a few centuries, the Reapers had killed or enslaved every Prothean in the galaxy. They were relentless, brutal, and absolutely thorough. I don't understand. Where did the Reapers go after they conquered your people? 
Our worlds were stripped bare, harvested by the indoctrinated slaves. Everything of value, all resources, all technology was taken. Certain that all advanced organic life had been extinguished, the Reapers retreated back through the Citadel Relay into dark space, sealing it behind them. All evidence of the Reaper invasion had been wiped away. Only their indoctrinated slaves were left behind, abandoned. Mindless husks, no longer capable of independent thought, the indoctrinated soon starved or died of exposure. The genocide of the Protheans was complete. What do the Reapers get out of this? Why do they keep repeating this pattern of genocide over and over? The Reapers are alien, unknowable. Perhaps they need slaves or resources. More likely they are driven by motives and goals organic beings cannot hope to comprehend. In the end, what does it matter? Your survival depends on stopping them, not in understanding them. You said you brought me here for a reason. Tell me what I need to do. The conduit is the key. Before the Reapers attacked, we Protheans were on the cusp of unlocking the mysteries behind mass relay technology. Ilos was a top secret facility. Here, researchers worked to create a small scale version of a mass relay. One that linked directly to the Citadel, the hub of the relay network. The conduit is not a weapon. It is a backdoor onto the Citadel. How did you manage to stay hidden? All official records of our project were destroyed in the initial attack on the Citadel. While the Prothean Empire came crashing down, Ilos was spared. We severed all communication with the outside, and our facility went dark. The personnel retreated underground into these archives. To conserve resources, everyone was put into cryogenic stasis. I was programmed to monitor the facility and wake the staff when the danger had passed. But the genocide of an entire species is a long, slow process. Years passed, decades, centuries. The Reapers persisted, and my energy reserves were dwindling. He should have fought. We were a few hundred against a galactic invasion fleet. Our only hope was to remain undetected. I began to disable the life support of non-essential personnel. First support staff, then security. One by one, their pods were shut down to conserve energy. Eventually, only the stasis pods of the top scientists remained active. Even these were in danger of failing when the Reapers finally retreated back through the Citadel Relay. There were hundreds of stasis pods out there. You just shut them down? You killed them? You were programmed to protect them, not kill them. This outcome was not completely unforeseen. My actions were a result of contingency programming entered on my creation. I bet they didn't tell the non-essential staff about this contingency. I saved key personnel. When the Reapers retreated, the top researchers were still alive. My actions are the only reason any hope remains. When the researchers woke, they realized the Prothean species was doomed. There were only a dozen individuals left, far too few to sustain a viable population. Yet they vowed to find some way to stop the Reapers from returning. A way to break the cycle forever. And they knew the Keepers were the key. I still don't understand what's going on here. Why is Saren trying to find the Conduit? The Conduit gives him access to the Citadel and the Keepers. The Keepers are controlled by the Citadel. Before each invasion, a signal is sent through the station compelling the Keepers to activate the Citadel Relay. After decades of feverish study, the scientists discovered a way to alter this signal. Using the conduit, they gained access to the Citadel and made the modifications. This time, when Sovereign sent the signal to the Citadel, the Keepers ignored it. The Reapers are trapped in dark space. Saren must have some plan to undo everything you did. The one you call Saren would use the conduit to bypass the Citadel's defenses. 
Once inside, you will transfer control of the station to Sovereign. Sovereign will override the Citadel systems and manually open the relay, and the cycle of extinction will begin again. Is there any way we can stop them? Save the file in my console. Take a copy when you go. When you reach the Citadel's master control unit, upload it to the station. It will corrupt the Citadel security protocols and give you temporary control of the station. It might give you a chance against Sovereign. Wait, where's the Citadel's master control unit? I've never heard of anything like that. Through the conduit. Follow Sarah. <coughs> he will lead you to your destination. <coughs> If the Reapers are trapped in dark space, how did Sovereign get here? It is logical to assume the Reapers would leave one of their own behind after each extinction. A sentinel to pave the way for their inevitable return. Like those in dark space, Sovereign probably spent most of the last 50,000 years in a state of hibernation. Periodically, it would wake to analyze the situation. Keeping its existence hidden, it would evaluate the state of galactic civilization. And when the time was right, it would signal the Citadel and usher in the next Reaper invasion. But this time the signal failed. The Keepers did not respond. Sovereign's allies were trapped in the void. Alone, it was forced to try and discover what had gone wrong. Sovereign's the largest ship in the galaxy. Why all this secret? Why not just attack the Citadel? Sovereign is not invincible. Revealing its true nature would have united the forces of every organic species against it. Even a Reaper couldn't survive such odds. But the Reapers are patient. They will not rush into the unknown. Sovereign could have been planning this for centuries, moving deliberately, gathering allies. Slowly, it has assembled the pieces of the puzzle, working through agents to keep itself hidden. Saren is the most visible pawn of the Reapers, but I doubt he was the first. Now Sovereign has grown bold. Whether from competence or desperation, I cannot say. But it is determined to reopen the portal to Dark Space. What happened to the survivors from the Conduit Project? They use the conduit to gain access to the Citadel, but the conduit is only a prototype. The portal only links in one direction, so they were trapped on the station. I do not know what became of them then. It is unlikely they found any food or water on the station. I fear they suffered a slow, grim death. I only know they succeeded in their mission to seal the relay. Your presence here proves their sacrifice was not in vain. Jay, y'all save me any more chicken? I was just wondering, I'm getting hungry. What about the beacon on Eden Prime? And the one on Vermeer? What were they for? At our apex, the beacons spanned the breadth of our empire. We used them as a single galaxy-wide network to transmit data and communications rapidly from world to world. Virtually all the beacons were destroyed during the invasion, but once the Reapers were gone, the survivors here on Ilos decided to risk sending out a message. We knew it was unlikely there were other survivors, but if there were, we wanted them to know about Ilos. We wanted to give them hope, so a message was sent across the network. Could have exposed yourself to the reapers in truth we didn't expect any of the beacons would still function but we had to try if there were survivors we had to reach them 
The message was meant for our own people. It was coded so only organic beings could interpret it. We still didn't understand the power of Reaper indoctrination. We never realized it could lead an agent of the machines, like Saren, to this world. But it has also led you here. So perhaps we did not fail after all. Saren's got enough of a head start. Grab that data file and let's go. Shepard, are you sure? Who knows how much longer Vigil will be here? Even now the projection is weak. This might be our only chance to speak with it, our only link to the knowledge of the Protheans. It is the opportunity of a lifetime. It might know something useful. I will provide whatever information I can. My data banks, however, are limited to information directly related to stopping the Reaper invasion. So, when the Reapers created the Citadel, they created the Keepers as well? A more likely scenario is that the Keepers were one of the early harvested civilizations. Perhaps the very first. Perhaps they responded well to indoctrination, or the Reapers simply bred them to be obedient. In any case, they were left behind to operate and maintain the Citadel. But the Keepers are no longer directly controlled by Sovereign or its ilk. They evolved so that they only respond to the signals emitted by the Citadel itself. When the Protheans altered the Citadel signals, they broke Sovereign's hold over the Keepers. Now, they are completely harmless. Sovereign must have realized organic races were difficult to control. A likely hypothesis. The Keepers evolved in an unanticipated direction. Non-organic servants like the Geth would be more predictable. I've got the file. Come on. The one you call Saren has not reached the conduit. Not yet. There is still hope if you hurry. See, I wasn't gonna mess up and not say it this time. We don't need to keep redoing this. <laughs> All right. I never dreamed I would actually find Ilos. My people once tried to find this world. We helped you to settle here. We didn't know it would feel so unwelcome. All right, y'all. I'm gonna take a bathroom break. I'll be right back. Cause I'm hungry. I'm gonna try to find something to eat. All their culture, all their advanced technology, and the Protheans were taken in by the Reapers just as we were. They failed. Just like my people failed, but they also gave us a chance to save ourselves. We must hurry.
Y'all, I'm back. Y'all need some hot wings here. Well, buffalo tenders. Got me some Gatorade. We're going to be doing some big things. Eating and playing the game. I brush my wig a little bit. Look a little cuter for y'all. Trying to. Y'all got to keep it out of my face, though. Man, right here in the south, it be hot as hell around spring. Do what you gotta do, right? All right, here we go. All right, I saved, so this time, if I die, I wanted to do all that over. Thank y'all for bearing with me. That was a long redo. I think I'll be a little more careful this time, though. I was trying to rush. I think I'm about to go a little slower this time. Yeah, I can still save. I'm gonna try to save as much as I can. Just in case I die. Do wanna do all that again? Oh snap. Man, really? We gotta do this, y'all. We gotta do this. We gotta go save the Citadel.
Alright, alright, we get somewhere, y'all. We get somewhere. Go instead it wins the race. Did I go the wrong way? That's the aqueduct. I think I started there. I don't know. Maybe I missed it. Was I supposed to go to the aqueduct? Alright, this is where I died, y'all. This is where I died. So we're gonna have to try not to die this time. Low and steady. Low and steady. There. The conduit. It's incredible. We don't have time to admire the view. We have to get through that relay, and these geth aren't gonna make it easy on us. I am running out of time, y'all. Give it time. Oh, fuck all y'all. I'm going to hit. Come on, Giff. Hang on. Things are going to get a little rough. I'm running out of time. Running out of time. Running out of time. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. I can do this. I can do this. I will do this. I will make it. Did I make it? Did I make it? Y'all, did I make it? I think I made it. I think I made it. Failures detected across all monitors system. Please begin emergency evacuation. That's what I'm talking about. Where my girls at? Oh, sh I got them still with me. Can I change out? They suck. Man, I should have had. Uh... Oh, no, nah, bro. Nah, y'all tripping. Y'all tripping. Hold on. Hold on. Why? Oh, man. Y'all bugging. Hold on. Change. 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 These suckers mean business. Come on. Come on. 
Garrison Ricks, y'all tripping. I hope they don't die. They might die, but they weak as hell when it comes to combat. Oh man, that's good. The Citadel's closing, they're sealing the station. If I was on a human ship, I'd just leave. Let me change my people. These girl weak. Saren's locked the elevator. Suit up. We're going outside. <sighs> Can I save first? Can I save? Can I save? Let me save. Oh damn. Hell no. In real life, no, 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 no. I would have just moved to another planet. Don't be waiting on me to say today. I would have took my ship and gone another galaxy and keep moving, keep it moving. I changed my dang characters. I think we stuck with the all girl crew, y'all. Yep. I think we stuck with the all girl crew. Man. Wait, are they timing me on this? All right, we got, we got, we got to work it out. We got to work it out. That's big. That's big bad right there. That thing looked like a big oversized. I don't know, like alien. Let's see.
Come on, come on, come on. We gotta do this. We gotta save the Citadel. We gotta save the Citadel. Oh, free! What is that? Oh, Kroger. Screw you, man. Go die up in space. Man, man, man. Oh, I'm up. Believe me, I'm up. I'm up. You up? I'm passed up, man. I'm up there trying to survive. somewhere y'all we get so let me save let me save so we don't die if we die we just start right up all right this is save point good 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 and they down here for me nope 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 all right all right we've been there we gotta go there we gotta go we gotta go somewhere let's see where we gotta go i think here here I don't even know where else I'll be going right now. Hold on, y'all. I gotta hook y'all up because y'all y'all finna die. Yeah, hold on. Bit. Let's keep going. Where, where am I supposed to be going, bro? Alright. Alright, this is what's confusing me. I don't know where I'm supposed to go, but I'm going to figure it out as I go along. Hey. Oh. Ah, Juggernaut.
Get your ass back here, girl. What is she doing? Like, unity. Go, get, come back here. Come back. Come back. Kayla is so... Oh. Alright, alright. We doing something. We doing something, y'all. Where I go now? Where I go now? Alright, save. I did that part. Alright, something I need to do.
on, come on, girls. That's why I need me some, some Rex in them, man. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Where's old girl at? Bring your behind over here. Come on, come on. Unity, unity. Unity, get your ass here. Come on. Come on, we can do this together. Come on, get in the trenches. Get in the trenches, y'all. Get in the trenches. We gotta get close. Alright, alright, alright. Come on, come on. Y'all, come on down here. No, 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 no. Tali, Get down here with me. Come on. Oh, man. These girls gonna get themselves killed. I'ma run it, y'all stay where y'all are. Please stay where y'all are. I'm trying to run it. I get there. Works for me. Come on, y'all. Stay with me. Stay with me.
All right, girls, y'all stay alive. Because I wouldn't have had y'all here, but I couldn't change y'all out. Oh, fuck. Ambush. Ambush. Come on. Come on back. Come on back. Down the stairs. Down the stairs. Down the stairs. Wrong weapon. Wrong weapon. Come on. Now you snipe. Now you snipe. What you see, I don't see, Tylee. What you see, I'm not seeing. Where they at? Obviously, you see something. So we gonna find that something. Die. Come on. Come on, get ready to die. Oh, Tali! Man, she getting in my way. Tali, you getting in my way, honey. You and Garris get in my way too much. Where y'all at? Where y'all at? Okay, I see you. I see you. Tali, get back! Boy, I tell you, I wouldn't take Tali on the battlefield. She'll get herself killed by friendly fire, I swear. All right. Where you at? Where you at? Bye. Yeah. Oh, bye. Tyler, what you doing? Come on. I'm going to just change out y'all weapons. Y'all suck. All right, here we go. Maybe they got some hill pack somewhere. All right. Look at, look at this fool, man. I really should have had Garrus for this one. Please don't kill my girls. He was right there. Oh, damn. survived our encounter on Vermeyer, but I've changed since then. Improved. Sovereign has upgraded me. Ah. Uh, yeah, Sovereign just indoctrinated you, man. You ain't thinking for yourself no more. You just, you know, some craziness. You let Sovereign implant you? Are you insane? I suppose I should thank you, Shepard. After Vermeyer, I couldn't stop thinking about what you said. About Sovereign manipulating me. About indoctrination. The doubts began to eat away at me. Sovereign sensed my hesitation. I was implanted to strengthen my resolve. Now my doubts are gone. I believe in Sovereign completely. I understand that the Reapers need <sighs> Join us, and Sovereign will find a place for you, too. Hell nah, man. You tripping. Damn it, damn it. No, 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 no. Nigga, you stupid. I'd rather die than live like that. Then you will die. And your companions. Everyone you know and love. I'm pretty sure they will. Everyone they will. ever met. Don't you understand? Can't be stopped, not by the Protheans, not by you, 
data file worked. I've got control of all systems. Quick, open the station's arms. Maybe the fleet can take Sovereign down before he regains control of the station. See if you can open a communications channel. Sure about this, Shepard? Human casualties will be very high if you send your fleet in now. This is bigger than humanity. Sovereign is a threat to every organic species in the galaxy. I don't care. I'm too tech and human. That's why you can't waste reinforcements trying to save the council. You must hold them back until the Citadel arms open up and the human fleet can go after Sovereign. What's the order, Commander? Come in now to save the Ascension or hold back? Okay, so if I say stay the council, I'm still dooming like a whole bunch of humans, okay? And the council don't like me anyway, and they all aliens. And then you got let the council die, which is Paragon, but let them die. I'm going to say concentrate on Sovereign. Wait until those arms open, Joker. We need all our ships focusing on Sovereign, <coughs> even if we're sacrificing the council. A sacrifice for the greater good. I only the council is sucks. Get a new council. Shit. All Alliance ships, home formation. Wait for a shot at Sovereign. Nothing else matters. I repeat, nothing else matters. Commander, we're picking up reinforcements. It's the Alliance. This is the Ascension. We are taking heavy damage. Guardian defenses are over... Kinetic barriers are offline. Commander, they closed the channel. Man, screw y'all. They didn't even want me with the ship, y'all. They told me I could use the Normandy, so screw them. I'm saving humans. I'm going Paragon on this one. Make sure he's dead. Why would I send him? Bruh. No! Alright, alright, alright. That's how I 
all good. It's all good. He's dead. This is our only chance. Take that monster down no matter what the cost. Don't freeze! Don't freeze! Freak! I think it just froze, y'all. I think it just froze. Oh man. Oh man, bro. I think my game just froze. Hold on, hold on, y'all. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. game froze oh man all right y'all hold on man 
damn, my game froze. I can't believe this. Not again. All right, y'all. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to restart the game. I'm gonna keep the stream open though, but I gotta restart this game, man. At least at that point, where I last saved. Dang, this is a good one. Man, bro, I'm so close. Yeah, I'm gonna have to restart the stream. It didn't crash again. I'm sorry. Thanks for hanging out. I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna have to reset the stream. I will be. I will be right back on. <laughs> 